and then take the cover off of this. Now, from all the research I've done, you got to be very tricky when you do this. You got to kind of hook this right here, and you'll kind of hear it snap off as you go. I guess you kind of wedge that in there as you snap it off. Doesn't seem to work too well, does it? Now, the first thing you actually want to do is you want to pull out. Don't want that off there. Oh, I came on. You have this little thing right here that comes with the tool kit you can use to pry out with. There we go. And a little bigger one to get up a little better. Let's see. There's the covers off. First thing you do. Next, we need to take this battery out. Now, we want to hook the battery here, but you want to be really careful when you want to hook the battery. I'm going to use something very gentle to pry with. Okay, that's the battery. Unplugged. Now we need to take the battery out of the hole. Well, I'm not sure, but they say you need to take the battery out, so I will take the battery out. This little driver here should work. Something I like to do is I have a little bottle or something to put all the screws in when you take them out. The battery is only one on that side. Looks like three on this side. Okay. There's the three little screws. Let's put this lid on. It's been all reason. Next, lift the battery out very gently. Okay, we'll set the battery up over here with the cover. Now, let's look at the glass here. We look at the glass. There should be a little tab right here that's hooked to the glass. If you look at your replacement glass, you should be able to match up the tab here. Look here, you see that plug and that plug, that's the same plug. So, we want to make sure we match that up. Now, just to make sure we don't hurt that, let's put that out of the way. So, next thing we're going to do is unplug that. And again, we're going to be very careful to pry up gently and use this little pry tool. Came with a little kit here. There we go. That's up. Now, next step. We're going to use the heat gun right here. So, turn the heat gun on low. So heating up this edge of the glass where the glue is. Just put it up a little high. Not too high. Take a little warm. Okay. Now we're going to use the ammo. This little pry tool that came with this kit here I have. We're going to see if this is going to work. Start with this bad 
corner first. See, yeah, look at that. It goes right under. Now what you want to do is go very carefully slide this around. See, when you get to a stuck spot like that, let me be careful. Let's put a little more heat on there. You don't want to melt the screen and damage the screen in any way by doing this. Okay, now that's that way. It's coming out very easy. A lot easier to do than the thing I saw that did it. Okay, now let's come to right here. that. We really can't hurt the screen any more than what it is, but we still want to be a little careful. What we're going to do is, just so it doesn't stick back down, we really got to stick something like this in here to hold it. Think it comes off nice and neat. Do it like this. I'm keeping this cloth here to keep it safe. Now, someone was saying you gotta be careful. You get down to this one end, but I don't know. Another pick in here. So it doesn't stick back down. It's all this little toothpick thing that's coming as part of the kit here. It's taken. Too. So you gotta watch that button also. Okay. Let's pull the glue off. There's the broken glass with the glue. Okay. There's our broken glass with the glue. Here's our new glass. There's the difference. It's the same thing, basically. Now, not about just button here. So the button has to get back on. Now, you got to be really careful not to get anything underneath the screen right now. Now's the time. I got an extra clean free cloth right here, just to make sure. Do not touch that with your hands or anything. The glue came off completely. And I did that. Now, here's the tricky part. Okay, the tape came off with it. Right, did we get all the tape? Yeah, all the tape came off, see? Now the new one, first thing you want to do is you want to peel off both pieces of paper. There's one. You also want to pull off the back one, and here's the reason why. You don't want anything in on it. Now here is the, that's where your glue is. Now, the button needs to go back on here. The little notch goes in there. Get that out the way. You gotta make sure when you put it on. Lines up. That's it. See that? It has to be even. I just replaced the glass. Now we'll just kind of put light pressure on it for now. Okay, there we go. Next, first thing we're going to do is we'll plug this one here back on. Let's plug back on. There we go. See? Glass is replaced. Does the camera line up, I think? Looks like it does. Everything looks like it lines up. Now we have a new glass on our. Okay, now. Let's put the battery in and power it up, see if it works. Oh, actually, I do more than just the battery. I put this in. Okay. 
we gotta plug this on again carefully when you snap it now let's just try powering it on well, let's put a sim card in first just to test it and let's put this back in just to test it let's power it on hmm push this right in power on there it is it's back on with new glass there it is okay let's see if it works like New York boom it's back everything's done new glass on okay put it back together and we're done Here we are Back and working. Button works, everything's done. Let's power it off. Swipe the screen to unlock. Power off. Power off. Okay. Put the three screws back in. Four screws actually, one in front, two in back, two in back. There's one. Three. Four. Let's back together. Let's just cover back up. Make sure we get it right. Let's pull this back out just to make sure. This one back up. Just make sure we don't mess them up. Make sure we line everything back up. Let's lock this side in first, I think. We kind of push these in. Kind of. Kind of snap them back in. That's it. SIM card. SD card. All done.